Hey guys, Alicia here. I am super excited to do this video because I'm completely blown away. So in my last video, I mentioned that I broke my foot about six and a half weeks ago. Right as that was starting to heal, I got salmonella poisoning and I was so sick for a couple of weeks. Um, and then I didn't have an appetite at all. So the reason that I am stressing the importance of starting a YouTube channel is that it is passive income. So if something happens and you do get sick or you break your foot and you are not making videos, you will continue to make money off of videos that you have already done in the past. So I'm completely blown away. Now, I will tell you that YouTube operates one day behind. So what they, you know, show on here, um, like right now, it's saying that my revenue is down 11% at $556.20. That is an estimated revenue. They always give you just an estimated revenue. So let me go into the analytics here. And this is so amazing. Um, these analytics are often, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I can't believe YouTube doesn't charge to use these because it's so in-depth it will tell you everything you need to know down to the keywords people used to search your videos. Okay, so keep in mind this is a day behind. Um, it is saying that I have gotten 901 new subscribers and it says it's about the same as usual sometimes it's a little bit more than that so let me go back just a second here and by the way while this is going back i do want to say that you know i don't do these videos in any way shape or form to brag because it's really not much to brag about yet um, but I can't wait to see what this number is going to look like in six months, in a year. Okay, so right here, this is sh showing all of my, um, I'm now getting closer to 19,000 subscribers. Um, it's telling me that my views, watch time, and revenue are down. However, keep in mind, this is also a day behind. It shows me my top earning videos. Um, for some reason, everybody likes this video on how to start making planner pages. So I need to start doing some more planner videos because that seems to be working. Um, also, things like how to upload digital files to Etsy. Um, and then it shows recent subscribers down here um, and comments. So once again, keep in mind that this is a day behind. So... Um, it could have been possible in 30 days that I have gained a lot more than 900 in um, 901 new subscribers. So this amount right here, you can clearly see it says your estimated revenue at $556.21. But it says here, looking good, your channel's view count was slightly higher than usual in the last 28 days. Okay, that right there has me completely blown away, considering I went a little over a month without making a video at all. And this is why I keep stressing, you know, everybody is passionate about something. Everybody is an expert at something. You know, if you want to start a YouTube channel, a cooking channel, if you want to start, if you're into the stock market and you want to start a channel on the stock market, everybody is an expert at something. If you have a love for dogs and how to care for them properly or, you know, things like that, there are so many options to find a niche. Now, my niche is pretty much graphic design um, design, which by the way, I will be doing another video more on that at the end of this video. So it is telling me here. So here, 
from July 14th, you can see that without making any videos, I stayed consistent, which really threw me for a loop. So it went up here. And the reason it did, and it, it really only went up slightly from here, um, because I did make um, a couple of videos over the last few days. So I'm completely, like I said, just blown away by this. So make sure you stick through until the end. I'm going to show you what Google AdSense finalized at. Um, this tells me my watch time. Um, this tells me my subscribers. So let's click on watch time. Okay, and it's telling me on watch time about the same as usual. So I had 3,300 views, which is about the same as normal. Like I said, once again, I'm really wanting to amp up my channel and do so many things with it. Um, so I really cannot wait to see what this number is going to look like in a year. So if you think about it, I've gotten a lot of people who told me, you know, I'm really interested in starting a YouTube channel, but it just makes me nervous. I just say, jump in, okay? If you don't want to be on camera, I don't want to be on camera a lot, but I will be, hopefully. Um, I had planned on it this year, and then, you know, we had the Rony Rona, and... I just didn't. So hopefully things will get better here in the near future and I can start doing more of those in-person videos. So let's take a look here on audience. And once again, it's showing about the same thing that I stayed consistent. The only thing is, is it's showing that I have a lot of views on my channel from people who are not subscribed. Hey, if you are watching my videos, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out um, a whole lot. So um, I have a lot of people not subscribed, and then this is the amount of people that are subscribed. This breaks it all the way down into age and gender. So females, 82.1%, and then males, 17.9%. Um, so I'm getting most of my views from the United States and the UK. And it even breaks it down by age. So it looks like my target audience is from 25 years old to 44 years old but I still have a lot more or quite a bit of videos, um, 45 to 50 years of age and even 55 to 64 years of age. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back to the overview um, and once again, it's not that hard to get started making a YouTube channel. If you have any questions for me about how to get started, um, what you want to do, please comment below and I will guide you where to go. I have some programs um, and some services that I offer that I can help you get going on that. Um, it doesn't cost a lot to get started. Literally, I started with a $22 microphone and my phone duct taped to a candle holder. So you don't have to have a lot to get started. Okay, so now for the great news. Keep in mind, in this last 28 days that YouTube is calculating, I did not make a video for over four months. So I'm gonna hop over here to Google Ad AdSense, drum roll please, this is what it finalized at, $645.86. I made more than last month. 
Last, ma last month I made $627.66 and I surpassed that this month. So guys, this is why I'm saying if you, whatever type of business you have, whether it be, you know, a YouTube channel, but see, the thing is, is once you have a YouTube channel, you have an audience to market your other products to. And that is what tomorrow's video is going to be at, be all about. And I am going to be using Mrs. George Art Class just in time for back to school. Um, I will be featuring her um, Etsy shop and also her blog. And it's all about building multiple streams of income, which is something that we can all do. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, please leave me a comment down below. Also, don't forget to like and comment this video. It really helps me out in the YouTube algorithm to get my video seen. So I really hope this was helpful and I hope everyone has a wonderful day.